happy morning and once again welcome you all to superb story session a session where we all become thought leaders we derive life skills values and a lot of life values from simple nice fun stories let's get started yes uh, this story is of a little girl uh, she her name was chatterbox obviously now you got it her uh, she would she loves talking and that is one way uh, she would make friends she would uh, get the attention needed okay uh, but she was a chatterbox so sometimes uh, not just speaking she will get into gossip do you remember the triple uh, the triple filter test she will uh, fail that well, but she was very popular she was popular with her own friends teachers classmates uh, seniors juniors everybody knew everybody knew that this girl is very popular very nice this is this however sometimes uh, she would she would not say the real things she would lie a little bit here there gossip you know what happened hey guys you know what is this class doing what, what happened something just to start a conversation and uh, speak 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 everybody loved her her heart was pure heart is uh, pure of gold and she had a very nice helping nature and all the thing only that uh, just to get attention just be able to like her and all that uh, she would sometimes cross the line and would say things which are not real okay uh, this went to the teacher teacher also loved this girl teacher said wow this girl is so nice she is very nice always uh, good in studies and every other thing yes she realized yeah sometimes so some after a few complaints came so teacher said okay let me help this girl so the teacher called the girl to the uh, uh, this thing staff room nobody was there and said hey my dear girl i've heard that this and all is happening the girl was like no 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 miss who told you this ah i know this again she started the same thing she started the i know miss who must have told you know she is a bigger chatterbox than me this that not so uh, this, this is a miss realize that okay talking is not going to help uh, there was a newspaper lying and there was a there was a large basket there was a basket lying and a newspaper lying she said okay dear girl what do you do tear this newspaper into some 100 200 bits of pieces okay you should not lose a single piece with those pieces you should again build you can be uh, you should be able to build the entire newspaper again so you care as she was uh, very careful she started tearing and she made a basket full of uh, close to 200 pieces of that newspaper okay she made that and filled it up in the basket and the miss said okay now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the uh, playground we we'll go to the middle of the playground let's cover it up they took a piece of cloth covered it up and they the miss as well as this young girl both of them went to the middle of the playground and kept the basket with the cover on it okay now uh, my dear uh there is a challenge for you this girl always the oh yeah yeah miss i'm tearing the paper was a very boring task after some time i was really bored one challenge for you okay now uh, we will open this as you can see there is a little bit of breeze there is a little bit of air and all the thing so some pieces will start to fly and all the other things and what you need to do is collect back all of it the girl said yes miss i can do it i have exactly counted how many pieces are there 200 clear pieces i have yeah okay i am ready for the challenge we are going to open it and we are going to leave it 200 pieces you need to uh, collect it we will leave it for some time and all the things so slowly they open all the pieces are there okay now slowly the pieces a uh, breeze started to come slowly steadily here there they started to get scattered in the playground and all the thing miss said we will come tomorrow the girl said ha huh? tomorrow why not we'll come tomorrow and we'll see it is left here let's leave it overnight tomorrow morning we will come and we will see what exactly happens okay the girl thought very while ha huh? you want the challenge or not the miss asked yeah 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 miss i want i will gather all the pieces i can see all the pieces are here this is this i'll gather all of them don't you don't have to worry okay so the miss and the girl went home the girl was excited slept with the thought how she's going to do all that and the miss uh, was obviously she knew what she was doing they came back next morning 
and uh, literally there were only about seven, eight pieces left and rest some were closer, some were far, some were caught up in the tree and some had just disappeared. And the miss said, okay, girl, you're ready. The girl looked at that. Mm. This is challenging. Let me get started. Okay. The miss said, okay, fine. You can do it. When you get the, all the 200 pieces, uh, you can come and meet me. I'll be into this thing. And uh, by, by, when you can finish it. Ah, I'm fast. I'm very quick. I will uh, do all of this in half an hour. Okay. Half an hour. <laughs> half day got over. <laughs> the girl did not come back. To... <laughs> half day got over. End of the day. Miss went. She saw this girl. She was covered in dirt. She was covered in mud. <laughs> she was tired. She was hungry. Face was full of sweat. And all the other things. What happened here? Uh, you were supposed to come in half an hour. I waited till lunch. Yeah, I didn't eat lunch also. Uh, I have this. What happened? Miss, I could only find 173 pieces. 27 pieces are still missing. I went very far. Some have crossed the boundary and crossed off. Some have gone, what do I do? Miss, I was searching. So some had to climb the tree. Some had to go under the bush. A dog came chasing me. All the things I did. And finally, I've got 173. I failed the task, Miss. Uh, miss, I'm so sorry. And uh, so, Miss, uh, so uh, the uh, Miss asked this girl, so did you learn the lesson? The girl realized, yes. Actually, Miss, now I realize this is not about collecting the pieces of paper. This is something very valuable that you've taught me. I'll always remember this. This task will be imprinted in my mind. I am definitely going to remember this lesson. And she thanked and the teacher blessed. After that, this girl was transformed. She only spoke what was triple filter test. <laughs> yes. She was again, with that, she became even more popular, more accepted, more loved. Yes. <clears throat> what did this girl learn? What did this girl learn from this activity? Coach? Yes. Uh, coach, uh, uh, she learned from the story that you should not be more overconfident. You should not be more overconfident? Okay, Socho, keep thinking. 200 pieces, she collected only 173. She was a chatterbox. She would gossip. She would lie sometime. And just to make some friends and get accepted. But she learned the real lesson to speak wisely from now. Socho, Siddhi, take. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, understood. Uh, we learned that that you should not talk too much. Don't be more talkative. Speak less, listen more. Speak less, listen more. What, who are we? Who is we? Uh, the, the we here, uh, we here is that the that girl. That girl can become how she can become we. She cannot be pure alone. That girl learned. Okay. Okay, we will not go to that girl. We'll come to you only. What did you learn? You speak about yourself. Okay. But good answer there. Very nice answer. What, whenever we speak, whenever we have learned, we always say I. Correct? Yes. Isn't it, Siddhi? Uh, others, anybody else wants to add? Or Siddhi, you want to add some more? So Siddhi said a great answer that talk less, listen uh, more. Only if I uh, like uh, uh, don't care for the um, care uh, about the risk, but just go into that, then only you will come to know whether it is possible or not. So without uh, just merely seeing 
don't get afraid. Okay. Get in. And Thank always, you. and always, it's not uh, that much easy as it seems. Mm hmm. You're talking about the challenge part, okay? Great. Yes, G. Thank you so much, Sashikala Coach. Thank you so much. Anybody else wants to add? What did you learn? Coach? Yes, yes, Yukta. Coach, you may give a lot. You may give lies. Like this girl gave lies. 200, 200 pieces of newspaper may be lies. Maybe um lies. It may be also truth. It may be truth and a bit of uh, a bit of truth and also lies. But whatever was, whatever was the truth came back. But all the others and all all the lies were gone. So it's no use of lying. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice interpretation. Fabulous. Only truth came back, lies didn't come. Very nice. Think, think, guys. Think some more deeper. <coughs> she used to gossip. And I'll give you guys one clue. That basket, from where do we gossip? From our mouth. Only when our mouth is open, things come out. Correct? Isn't it? Yeah. So the basket, what happened? The basket was closed with what? A cloth. Correct? If it is closed with the cloth, anything you think will happen? No. Correct. Now, when she removed the cloth, what happened? Things started to... When the mouth is open, we speak, 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 speak. Sometimes we want to be helpful. Sometimes we want to do just get attention. Sometimes we just do uh, gossiping and all that. Yeah. So now, now, think. And so the uh, one thing I could learn is that the cloth was covered. I mean, it is a limitation for our mouth also, uh, words also. When it is covered, uh, it doesn't fly. I mean, it is kept, everything is uh, precious, kept safely. But when it is, the cloth is removed, I mean, when we talk uselessly, everything just flies off. So... We should, that the cloth is a limitation. It shows that we should have a limitations for whatever we talk. We should know what how much uh, risky it is to uncover it or uh, talk unnecessarily. Very nice, Rikaji. Wonderful. It is the risk. Very nice. Thank you so much. Coach? Yes? Coach, like you and also how Rikaji said, when we have a limitation on our mouth, when we have a stopper to our mouth, we say what's only required. But when it's fully open, whatever comes out, it's mostly useless. It's mostly useless. So everything that comes out is spread all across. So whatever gossip or whatever lies she spread, after a few, after a few hours, it might have spread to the whole school. So it's better to have a limitation on our mouth than just open our mouth without thinking. Very nice. Wonderful. Fabulous. Nicely put there. Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Siddhidhya. Coach, think before you speak. Wonderful, dear. Very nice. So beautiful. Yes. Ah, uh, What is the newspaper represent? Is newspaper an ordinary piece of paper? What no. is it? It's, what it's is a piece it? of news. Can if it's a piece of information. Ah, it's a it's piece of, of information. Credible. Will you, uh, Yukta, if you get newspaper at home and you realize that some of the news is true and some is fake, will you buy the newspaper? No. No, we trust the newspaper, right? That these mm -hmm. things happen. Good or bad is secondary. Correct, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the reason that it was newspaper was told. Uh, let's summarize the story. Then great contribution from everybody. From Shashikala ji, Rekha ji, Siddhi did great contribution. Anybody else wants to add? Anybody else wants to add? Some of you have not added. Ekansha coach, Ekta coach. Yes, Yogi dear. Riti, kuch bolna chao Anybody wants to add?
Okay, great. Let's summarize this. If you remember, we did the story of triple filter test. Whatever we speak, first check whether it is true or false. Correct? The second one is what, Yukta? What is the triple filter test? Can you, do you remember? Anybody else can remember the triple filter test? Which, yeah. If it's true, first question is true or false. Uh, it's then, good or bad. Yeah, good, or bad. good or bad. And then if it's useful to the person who's taking it in. Very or nice. at least useful for myself. Ah, yes. Is it, is it useful for the other person? Not for us. Okay, G, okay. It's for the other person whether it is useful or not. Correct? No? Okay. Okay, anyway. G. Thank you, Siddhi. Siddhi, raising for the answers. Riddhi, would you like to repeat all the three once again, please? Riddhi, triple filter test. Please repeat. Riddhi, are we audible? Okay, I think Riddhi got frozen there. Okay. Uh, Riddhi? I don't think she's frozen. Okay, huh. the triple filter test is, uh, the first is uh, tell what is only truth. What is coming out of your mouth is only truthful. Okay, the second one is that uh, whatever we speak, see that it is good or bad. Sometimes we have to say bad things also, correct? We might have to say bad thing also, isn't it? Just to help the other person. But the third one is to help the other person. Does it, whatever we say, does it, does it help the other person or not. Got it. So that is the triple filter test. Coming back to this particular story, this girl had a very good heart and uh, she wanted to make friends. She would speak unnecessarily. What is that called? It's gossip. Isn't it? Gossip mongers. Uh, she would say anything and everything just to start a conversation. She'd say anything and everything uh, like that. And just to make friends, she was very popular. No doubt. But also People didn't start her. People didn't like her much, isn't it? Yeah, they know the girl was very good, but this thing. So with that experiment, what it meant is, whatever comes out of your mouth, you can't bring it back. You cannot bring it back. So be very careful whatever you speak. Every single word. My dear friends, listen to this. Every single word is sacred. It's sacred. Use it wisely. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sacred. It is. It can help people. It can move people. So please be very kind. Be polite. Be truthful. Be very honest. And most importantly, check whether it is valuable for somebody or not. If it is not valuable, listen more, speak less. Okay? Yeah. Let's get into doing our Meditation Vajrasana. Siddhi, Siddhi, you know the triple filter test? Would you like to repeat it now? You raise your hand, right? Would you like to repeat? What is the triple filter test? I thought you froze. But then I'm seeing you. Coach, I have school. Can I leave? Ah, yes. Bye, Coach. Yes. Coach, you were asking someone, Coach. No, I was asking you actually. You are asking yeah. oh, you triple triple Everybody, cameras on, please. Yeah. Achha, uh, first, what is triple filter test? One is whatever speak. Is it good? Is it true? Yes, it is true or false. Second is whether it is good or bad, and last whether it is useful or not. For the other person. Yes. Coach, you were asking someone. That's why I got confused. Who were you asking, Coach? Ah, sometimes that happened in the online year. But nice. Great. Can we give a big round of applause for Siddhi? Siddhi raising her hand. Fabulous. Lovely. Yes. Gyan Mudra, everybody. <laughs> Let's meditate for a short moment.
ordinary nasal breathing left in right out Let's do be breathing six of them. Hum. 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 Energizer, one round thirty. Relax, relax, relax. Lock your arms. Let's begin with, let's begin with gratitude. Thank yourself. Thank yourself that you use the triple filter test all the time. You, th you only talk what is truthful. Yes, at all times. Always, always, always truthful. Never, ever lying. Never, ever changing the facts. Never, ever manipulating the facts. Yes. Thank yourself for that. Thank yourself that you always check whether the fact uh, whatever you're going to tell to others is good or bad. Then you decide it is useful to the other person or not. Yes. Thank you so much that you use that. Thank you you use that. You only speak less and you listen, listen, listen and listen more. Thank yourself that you believe on this wonderful values of life. Thank yourself from external part, all the internal part. Thank every single cell. Thank those two lovely, set, uh, two lovely people. Thank you, dad. Thank you, mom. Two wonderful souls. Thank you, all your gurus, teachers, mentors, everybody. Thank our family members. Thank you, Tain. Thank you, Asa. Thank all the people we know. Friends, relatives, classroom, class teacher, everybody. Thank our uh, friends and our classmates, our colleagues, everybody. Thank the entire humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, God. Thank you, Almighty, for giving me this wonderful soul. Soul with a purpose, soul with a why. Now, visualize a beam of white light traveling from the universe. Enters our head, face, travels down to our shoulders, chest, abdomen, thighs, calf muscles, head to toe. Every, every, this thing as it travels, it is blessing us, energizing us to move towards our purpose, our goal. And uh, on every single basis. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now talking about goal, let's have a very quick visualization. 30 seconds start. Visualizing your goals, visualizing your purpose on a daily basis helps you to be on track, helps you to be completely focused. Slowly let go of your hands. Let's do a declaration of affirmation which will actually power up our day. I am focused. I am disciplined. I use the triple filter test. I'm fabulous. I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I'm truthful. I'm polite. I'm kind. I add value to people's lives. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm amazing. I'm lovable. 
I'm capable, I'm valuable, I am a superb human. Render of clap, one, two, three, four. Oh, whoosh. Second one. Last one. Slowly open your eyes and welcome an amazing day in our life. Live powerfully, live purposefully. You are a superb human. Yes. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It'll help us, it'll inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.